Hello beautiful people of the internet, what's up? It's your girl Akeisha. One of my favorite types of videos to film is my I tried it videos and today will be another addition into that series. This is a series on my channel where I try beauty products, tips, and tricks for 5, 10, and even 30 days. And today is no different. For the past 5 days, I've been trying LA Beautyologist 60 Second Skincare Rule. It is essentially cleansing your skin for 60 seconds. This method is supposed to give you a really good cleanse to your skin as well as a few other benefits that I'll mention later on in the video. If that sounds like something you're interested in then make sure you are subscribed and without further ado let's get on with the video. Before we get on to the week, I'm going to share with you the products that I've been using to be very accurate in this video. So the first product that I've been cleansing my skin with is an oil cleanser, and this is the Claire's Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil. Now I've heard a lot of people rave about this on the internet, so it's definitely something I wanted to try, and that is because my Innisfree cleanser, the green tea cleansing oil, was finishing. So I switched to this one. She doesn't mention this specifically, but to cleanse my eye makeup, I love using a micellar water, and so the one that I have is the Annabelle Eye Makeup Remover Lotion with Aloe Vera and Cucumber Extract. So that's what I've been using for my mascara and eyeliner as well as down my neck and my hairline to just make sure everything is clean. For my water-based cleanser, I've been using the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser from Youth to the People. I just rinse my face and my skin honestly feels really, really clean. What I'm hoping for is that this week will get rid of this pimple that has literally been there on my face for three weeks. I went through the motions of thinking it was a whitehead, then it was a pimple, then it just kept evolving on my face. Hopefully by cleansing my skin properly, um, focusing on this area as well for 60 seconds, I will get rid of that bump on my face. But so far, skin's looking good. This is what we're starting with. Before starting this routine, I just finished my period, so my skin in terms of oil was kind of calming down, but I did have a little bit of a breakout here by my mouth on the right side of my face, and on the left side there were a few white heads. Day number two. After just one day, my skin was incredibly smooth. And I'm just about to wash my face. I'm doing my daily skin analysis, we'll call it that. Um, Obviously this nose pimple has been there for three weeks and it's still there. And then these two that just popped up recently. Other than that, my skin looks really smooth, which is nice. And my oil is very controlled. I barely put any powder on my face at all this morning. And um, my skin is feeling really balanced. It's feeling healthy. I don't feel cracked and dry. If you guys have seen my week in my skin routine video, then you guys would know that I've been loving this Innisfree Green Tea Cleansing Oil. And I find Finally reached the bottom of this bottle so it's time to crack open a new one I've heard amazing things about this and I'm about to give it a try I need to stop using my mouth we got some scissors just gonna go ahead and wash my hands I do a double cleanse or kind of a triple cleanse if you count my micellar water every single day I don't really remember if in the video she said you were supposed to wash your skin for 60 seconds with the actual oil cleanser and then 60 seconds with your actual cleanser so I'm just gonna double check because <laughs> um, I, I honestly don't remember now she says this method is good for oil cleansing as well but she still doesn't specify whether you're supposed to cleanse for 60 seconds on each I'm going to do 60 seconds on each anyways um yeah let's do that it smells like licorice almost and I love that it's a light oil I'm actually gonna add some water to my cleansing oil and go ahead and gum one thing I'll quickly say about this cleansing oil is it's not as easy to wash off as the Innisfree cleansing oil. I feel like this one just rinses completely off your face. This one does leave a little bit of like a, a light film, so you feel like you have to rinse it a little bit more. My first time using it, we shall see. So there we have it. I think my skin feels really refreshed and I think I was able to really get into the hairline. Um, I'm gonna go ahead with my skincare routine. What do you guys think? 
Does my skin look any different? Comment down below and, and link it if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen um, her talk about this in terms of the morning routine. So if you guys have the answer to that, leave that down below. Um, so what I did basically was just use the oil and the cleanser, uh, the water-based cleanser for 60 seconds each every single day. What she did say is just to make sure that you cleanse for 60 to 90 seconds, even two minutes. So I took that and rolled with it. Day number three, Nothing about the actual 60 second rule, but I started noticing that the cleansing oil that I was using, I wasn't a really big fan of. I started noticing that it was leaving a film on my skin, an oily film, and I've tried a lot of cleansing oils before and I haven't had that type of experience. I also did notice that even after cleansing my makeup off, doing my water cleanser and my entire skin routine, my eyes felt really cloudy. Like I felt like there was a film of oil over like my eyeballs, which is really uncomfortable. Even right now, <laughs> I have to like blink to like get it away. I'm gonna use it because I have it. And um, then I'm just gonna maybe go back to that Innisfree one. It's day number three. And looking at my skin right now, it's starting to get a little bit oily once again. And I'm going to say that that is because of the weather. Here in Canada, it's getting a little bit warmer. Um, and so that's kind of making my skin react a little bit differently. I can definitely say that, but what I can see just immediately, my forehead texture looks, there we go, focus, looks really nice actually. Um, I think it's been one day, so there's not going to be like a crazy difference that I'm going to see, but let's go ahead and cleanse our skin. <laughs> Now, I think that because you're spending so much time just maneuvering around your skin and feeling your skin, you can really see where you need to focus um, your cleansing. Whereas with a brush, you're not really seeing that and there's no telling on whether that exfoliation or that cleanse is even. With your fingers, you can really get around the contours of your face and because you're taking that oil, it's getting deep within the pores and it's cleaning out all of that gunk, all of the oil, any blackness that you may have, anything that's sitting in your skin. Also, where the cleanser is concerned, it's one of those products that only touch your skin for a certain set period of time. And there's so many great ingredients in your cleanser that you really need to give them time in order for them to actually have an effect on your skin. And so that's what I really love about using this so far. And even with a few blemishes that were still on my skin, overall it looked really hydrated, it looked really supple, and it just felt really good to the touch. Day number four. One thing I can say about this routine is it feels amazing. It feels so good to sit there and just massage your skin and get rid of all the tension in the day. You can really just feel your skin becoming clean, which is an interesting feeling. It feels so good. Now it can get a little boring if you're just counting to 60 in your head. So what I do instead is I actually sing the theme songs of some of my favorite Disney shows from when I was a kid. So I'm not gonna play them because of copyright reasons because they're about 60 to 90 seconds long and that's the perfect time for cleansing your skin. Sing with me. Comment down below if you can guess what I'm singing just by me mouthing it. Day number five. My skin feels so good, like so good. And what I love most about this method is that you can really see a difference. When I was at work, um, someone that I barely even see came up to me, went out of her way to say, your skin is glowing. And I haven't done anything different with my makeup, with my highlighter, anything like that. The only thing that I changed was that I was cleansing my skin um, with the 60 second roll. And the fact that someone could notice that my skin looked better was amazing to me and I started feeling myself all day long. But the point is you can see a noticeable difference. And it's also really good if you cleanse in the shower with this method. I did that actually on day number six, but I don't have any footage of it. Um, but anyways, it was really nice to cleanse in the shower itself because you can really get in the neck and all of those areas. Okay, so my skin, 
as I'm cleansing my face, I don't feel bumps underneath the skin, which is something that I have been combating for quite some time. What do you guys feel about this angle? You guys are kind of getting the reverse image of me, but I feel like it's easier because you guys can see my entire face this way. 60 seconds, y'all. One thing I can really comment on, and I think it's the most amazing part about using this method, is that your skin will feel so just smooth and soft. Like as I'm rinsing off my skin, it just feels like butter. And I didn't even use like an exfoliator, a dedicated exfoliator. My skin just feels really smooth. Um, I've also noticed around my nose. Now I rarely get like whiteheads and you know sebaceous filaments in my nose at all, but it's been feeling so smooth. Like, okay. <laughs> Where I work, as well as when I'm editing videos, I tend to wear headphones a lot. So I've been experiencing a lot of like pimples around my ears and stuff. But over this past week, I have not gotten any new pimples around this area. I feel like really taking the time to massage your skin and work the product in has definitely allowed my skin to be cleansed deeper. And it has made me pay attention to my hairline more. And I feel like this just makes you pay attention to what you're doing more. It's like intentional cleansing rather than just, you know, quickly washing off your face. Your products have amazing ingredients, whether it be your cleanser or your oil cleanser, they have amazing ingredients for your skin. And if you're not leaving it on long enough to actually see a difference, then you're not going to see a difference. But I am seeing all that good stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Today is day number seven and I'm going to wash my face after this video, but I can absolutely say that this gave me results. Also, as you guys can probably notice, the bump on my, my nose actually went away. It will give you great skin without even exfoliating. As I did mention, if you're going to use this method, make sure that you use a cleansing oil or balm that you love because if you don't, you know, it's not going to give you um, the best experience in terms of like your experience using it. I don't know how to word that, but your experience using the product. So get something that works really well. Like I said, the one that I do recommend is the Innisfree Green Tea Cleansing Oil that I use at the beginning of uh, the video. And um, it's a lot cheaper than this one anyways, and I felt like it didn't leave any type of film or layer on my skin. All in all, I do find this method really essential, and beauty tools and instruments and masks and all that stuff aside, cleansing your skin is the most important thing that you can do, and I really love how simple that message is, and that's something that I feel like a lot of people need to hear. <laughs> so comment down below and let me know if you tried this out for yourself, and what are your thoughts I would love to hear. Click over here to see some of my previous videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, because I will see you lovely ladies and gents in the next video. Bye! <laughs>